Never argue with an atheist. You'll never win. They can twist the truth. The truth itself can be twisted. Many different ways to fit anyone's agenda. Theist or atheist. Why do you think we got lawyers that can twist the truth to make a guilty man look innocent or a guilt innocent man look guilty? It's all about perspective. You can tw you, if you can use words to twist the person's perspective, you can make virtually anything a lie or anything the truth. Especially when you're dealing with the subject of God, whom we cannot see. And you never out argue an atheist because he's dealing with things that you can can see. They can scientifically observe. My science teacher told me the part that what science what the purpose of science was to observe and describe, and you cannot observe God. Well, apart from subjective evidence, and I admit sometimes I doubt. Is Jesus is real, but something in, in me will not let me stop believing in Jesus. Now we have to decide: is this something in me, a uh, connection to a higher power, or is it psychological conditioning? But here's what I say: if Jesus is really real, you know how you're going to defeat these atheist arguments. And trouble their waters and make them doubt their atheism. Make them wonder if God is really real. What's going to happen is that you see what well, the problem is Christians are too big. We got the George Things, Dr. John MacArthur's, the Franklin Grahams. Everybody thinks they're, everybody thinks these men are celebrities. Christian celebrities. Paul said, when I'm in weak, when I am weak, then I, then he is strong. Since we can't see Jesus. What we need today. Is Christianity. To, to become. A capital offense. When Christians are seen. As the scum of the earth. When Christians are reviled. Worse than we were reviled. Worse than child molesters are reviled. When Christians are made fun of. When Christians are killed. When Christians are dying and refusing to recant their faith because something inside of them will, will not allow them to. This will shake the atheists to their cores. When there's something, they will see that element that Christians are trying to express to them. They cannot see it because their, their scientific minds won't let them. You see, the problem is when Christians are strong, Jesus is weak. When Christians are weak and despised and the scum of the earth, Jesus, the light of Jesus will shine even to these atheists. And they will have to question, hey, they will, it will shake their world up. What was I going to say? There are too many, there are too many tares in the wheat field. Of Christianity, we need some good old-fashioned persecution. Christians are killed to shake out the fault, the fake Christians, the tares, to uproot the tares. Christians are too strong. Joe Osteen, Dr. John MacArthur, so people are worshiping these men, these men instead of Jesus Christ. I lost my strength. The, the, having a stroke sucks. I, gee, I wish I could get the stem cells so I could think clearly like I used to. Okay, let me see. When Christians, when Christians die, knowing, knowing, and it's obvious by their actions, willing to die, suffer torture, it will make them atheists wonder, hey, is that something more to this Jesus that we're not seeing with our scientific minds? It will make him doubt the atheism. I said there's too many tears in the wheat field. 
Christians need to be Christians need to take a back seat to Jesus Christ. And Jesus, the light of Jesus Christ will shine brightly once again. And people will come to Jesus because they're not worshiping Joel Osteen. They're not worshiping theology by... Do Have you seen the uh, fans of Dr. John MacArthur and the Calvinist preachers? It's like a... It's not... They're acting like the Romans in the arena. Come to watch... The, Fights between the gladiators, putting their money on this one to win. Have you seen the videos, uh, Dr. John MacArthur versus Creflo Dollar, or pa Dr. John MacArthur versus Paula White, and Calvinist Christians salivating to the mouth? Oh, Do uh, Paula White cannot out teach John John MacArthur even on his worst of days. You see, they're worshiping Dr. John MacArthur. They're worshiping Calvinist theology. There's a verse of screw. Uh, hey, oh, oh, the, and I've, that's another thing. The reason Christianity is a laughing stock, is a wet noodle, is bullshit today. Look at the division Calvinists versus Armenians. Christians fighting one another worse than they fight the atheists. Christians hate another Christians worse than they hate the atheist. Jesus said, By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, and we have love one towards another. And we don't see any love in this by these Christians. That's why people don't believe in Jesus. They don't know he they're his disciples because these Christians are wet noodles. These Christians are hypocrites. I lost my train of thought. Give me a second. Can somebody help me to get the stem, make the money so I can get out of post stem cells so I can get my mind back? I kind of want to. I kind of want to go under the hood and yet yell and scream and curse and maybe maybe one of the hoodlums will shoot and kill me so I don't have to live this life, being this retarded, being mistaken for it, being a genius in a retarded man's body. I've been called genius, but that was before my stroke. Now I'm, a, I'm now I'm a genius trapped in this retarded body. It makes me wanna. It makes me want to do something to get myself killed. Unless I get at least get the cosmetic surgery and look like a star, a hottie, with the long forearms and those long arm top notch girls, looking young. If I can't get this, I wanna die. And I don't want to die. I'm too I'm too scared to kill myself. But I, maybe I could ride through the hood. A white guy riding through the black hood. Cursing and screaming and shouting and rapping. Maybe a bullet would meet my head. And I never know. I'll just be alive all of a sudden. Next thing you know, I'm dead. I never saw it coming. Yeah, the lack of love and unity. makes me, It makes me doubt if Jesus is real. Sometimes. I, I I have an inner knowledge that Jesus is real. He must be. I I keep watching these atheist podcasts. I cannot get myself to stop believing. I cannot. Maybe sometimes I want to, but I cannot. That inner knowledge is like this: a man's boarding an airplane, a jet plane, to go home. He wants to get home so badly. His home is a thousand miles away. Something. Inside him tells me to keep telling, him, don't get on this plane. He wants to get home. He 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 steps forward to get in line to ignore this voice, but it's it's almost pulling him back physically. Everything but pulling him back physically. He finally listens to his voice and doesn't get on the airplane, jet plane. When the jet plane takes off. And immediately crashes and die, and everybody on board, on board dies. That's how I know. That's the knowledge I had that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. What's your answer for this? Oh, like I said, you can never out argue an atheist. An atheist will come up with a hundred explanations for what I'm talking about. But if I have an atheist. If I have a gang member 
point a gun in my head. And tell me, and he tells me, you deny Jesus and I'll let you live. And not, not only will I let you live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. You don't, you don't deny Jesus, I'm going to blow your fucking brains out. If I tell him, go ahead, bro, blow my brains out, Jesus is Lord, and die. And the gun misfires, and I'm and lying on in ground in the ground, and excruciating agony. And still, I will not deny Jesus. This will make those atheists, this will shake those atheists to the core. Not even the Islamic martyrs. They, they, they had to whip themselves up in the, to a frenzy to be martyred for their faith. Telling, telling themselves they're going to have 70 virgins to, to fuck. Christians can die calmly for their faith. Not having had to whip themselves up in their frenzy. Now, if I don't get many views on this video, so help me God. Some people, and hey, look on the bright side. At least I'm attacking you with my words. I'm not using bullets and guns to attack you, to kill you. But hey, sometimes words can do much worse. I'm just so, I'm, I'm angry. I'm outraged. I hate myself. I want my hair transplant. I want my stem cells. Well, I want to die at the, gun, at the point of the gun in the hood. Without knowing it, if I cannot be, if I cannot be somebody that makes a difference in this world, if I cannot be noticed by them hot girls, let's be honest. I kind of want. To, if I don't have this, the only the only reason I have for living is to eat pizza, drink coffee, and to stuff my fat face. To eat, eat, eat. That's all I want to do is eat. And measure forms of girls, and had the climax, the ex of ecstasy, when my forms longer than those hot girls. That's all I want to do. I don't give a damn about you. I don't give a bad damn about myself. I have a low opinion by myself. Until I can be make, uh, until I can be a big fish. Um, uh, until people can, uh, I can make a difference in people's lives. Until I can be good looking to those hot girls and I can have my hair. Until I can be able to make videos and speak like I'm uh, the genius I am. I live dangerously until something kills me. Do you understand?